Good morning YouTube. This is a two month review of my Red Wing model 2292 logger boots. These boots are 10 inches in height, Gore-Tex lined, steel toed, 200 grams of Thinsulate Ultra Insulation, Vibram Tacoma Sole, and they are made in America. So after two months of wearing these boots on a daily basis from anywhere from 10 to 16 hours a day, I can say they are extremely comfortable. I did make the mistake of, when I first purchased these boots, of putting an aftermarket insole in them. That's wrong. Don't do it. These boots have a pour-on insole that, are, that is designed to absorb shock and mold to your feet. If you put an aftermarket insole in them, or you plan on wearing an aftermarket insole, such as a Dr. Scholl's or whatever, get about a half a size bigger, and that should help you it with the space department. Because if not, the boots t fit tight anyway. And then when you put that aftermarket insole in them, it's just tighter. They're a lot tighter fit. So. After two months of wear, you can see the boots are still pretty good shape. You can see where they're started, you know, they've conformed to my upper leg or my ankle area. You can see where they've conformed to my toes and where I bend my arch of my, you know, my instep of my foot. The Vibram Tacoma sole worked out wonderfully not really showing a lot of wear and I've walked in mud concrete and water the only drawback I will say about this particular sole is it collects mud like crazy if you're walking in some mud it, it'll fill up these grooves here will fill up with mud extremely easily so it does track mud everywhere and if you've got a um, a wife and you know family and you want to walk in the house I would rec if especially if you've been walking in the mud I would recommend taking off the boots outside gravel also likes to get caught up in here and you can hear a click 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 when you walk and the soles are actually awful hard as you can see on my hardwood floor, when you walk, it almost sounds like you're walking in high heels. Extremely hard sole, but that I guess is why it wears so well. Um, I've had no problems with the lacing, you know, the eyelets, the speed laces, none of that. Everything's working great. I did put tough toe on, as I showed in my first video about these and that seems to be working wonderfully very comfortable boot all in all I'm extremely happy with them the only aspect that I really am on edge about is the fact that there's no pull tab I know I said before that it wasn't a big deal well daily use it's beginning to be a big deal the boots fit extremely tight and I don't know why that is I guess it's just the way they're made so when you're putting your foot in it seems like the heel catches down in here somewhere I don't know if you can see that but the heel will catch down in there where the leather like right in this area here pretty much right here the heel will catch pretty much right here your heel wheel is where this goes from a really soft to a harder heel counter it's a little rough to get on you got to use two hands and get your foot position just right it's not one of them boots that your foot will just slip right into but it's designed that way for a reason for when you're out walking in rough terrain or uneven terrain and or climbing telephone poles, utility poles, it gives you that extra support. 
you don't have to worry about oh well, everything's real loose and all that stuff and it's a tight fitting boot and that's what how it's designed these boots are expensive they're about four hundred dollars a pair they have a one-year warranty on them against manufacturer defects or waterproofness so if they leak in a year you just take care of it. you take it to the Red Wing store and they take care of it so if you were to buy these boots I would recommend going into your local Red Wing store getting fitted and having them order them these boots you cannot buy off the shelf at Red in a Red Wing store you just can't do it they don't have them these are a made-to-order boot so they're pretty much a custom boot from Red Wing you have to be fitted they submit your sheet, your fit sheet, and then they order them. There's a, currently a three-week lead time on these boots, depending on your size. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you've enjoyed watching the video of my Made in America Red Wing boots. Uh, I will probably do another six-month review down the road. But for now, I'm going to get off of here. See ya.